Thank you, Director General Magwood, and welcome to the graduates attending this commencement today. The pursuit of knowledge is an admirable goal, and today you celebrate the completion of at least a portion of your learning journey. I remember when I graduated with degrees in mechanical engineering and ocean engineering from MIT. On that day several decades ago, Dr. David Ho, an AIDS researcher, was our graduate speaker. Since then, we've made amazing progress in AIDS treatment. I hope that someday you can reflect back on this day and celebrate progress in nuclear energy and in mitigating climate change. I also remember my first job as a nuclear officer in the Navy. There was such purpose in my work, and this sense of mission has continued throughout my career as I see firsthand the many ways that nuclear technology can benefit society. As the CEO of TerraPower, a nuclear innovation company, this call is clearer than ever before. In my role, I get to help create the advanced reactors of tomorrow and provide nuclear medicines to address severe disease. I hope that each of you finds similar fulfillment in your careers. The world needs a new generation of innovation-minded nuclear experts who believe this industry will provide critical solutions to some of our biggest challenges. Today, it is my pleasure to introduce a person who has spent his lifetime seeking innovation excellence. Bill Gates is the founder and chairman of TerraPower, but you may know him better as the co-founder of Microsoft and as the co-chair of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. I am honored to work with him today and I know he will encourage you as today's keynote speaker. Thank you, Chris, for that introduction. And to the graduates around the world who are joining us today, congratulations. You've done something I never did, get a college degree. And you did it during one of the most challenging moments of the past century. You had to keep pursuing your studies in the middle of a pandemic when in-person classes were interrupted and suddenly it wasn't safe to sit right next to your fellow students. Finishing college is hard enough. Finishing it during COVID-19 is especially impressive. You should be proud of what you've accomplished. You're graduating at a promising time in the history of humanity. I know that may sound odd considering the state of the world right now, but I'm optimistic that the future will be better than the past. I'm optimistic because of bright young people like you and because of the scientific breakthroughs that will improve lives around the world, including new tools created by nuclear science. With nuclear science at your disposal, you can develop life-saving advances in nuclear medicine. You can improve agriculture so that farmers in poor countries are able to grow more food in a changing climate and you can help us understand the origins of our planet. And of course, you can help solve one of the biggest problems facing humanity today, how to avoid the worst scenarios of climate change. I've been learning about and investing in clean energy solution for decades, and I expect it to be a key focus of my work for the rest of my life. So I wanna spend my time with you talking a about the challenges we face and the role that you can play in solving them. The data is very sobering. Uh, the world currently adds the equivalent of more than 51 billion tons of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere each year. To avoid the worst scenarios, that number needs to be net zero by 2050. But at the same time, the world's population will grow to nearly 10 billion and our demand for energy will go up by over 50%. Getting to zero emissions by mid-century will be the hardest thing humanity has ever achieved. We need revolutions in every part of the physical economy, how we move around, how we make electricity, how we build products, how we grow food, and how we heat and cool our buildings. There's not a single energy source that can solve all of these problems. Solar and wind will be part of the solution. Uh, so will large scale electricity storage, advanced biofuels, hydrogen fuels, and other approaches. But there is one technology that will be the foundation of every practical path to eliminating greenhouse gases, and that is nuclear energy. 
It's the only carbon-free energy source that can deliver reliably day and night throughout every season anywhere in the world and has been proven to work on a large scale. A nuclear power plant produces more energy per acre of land and with fewer construction materials than any other source of clean energy. Nothing else comes close. But today's nuclear energy technology needs to be improved. New plants need to be cheaper to build. They need to be safer and they need to produce less waste. Unfortunately, instead of solving these problems, the world simply stopped trying to advance the field. Imagine if we had done that with cars, if people had said, wow, automobiles cause accidents, let's stop using them. Of course, that's not what happened. We used a lot of innovation to make cars safer, inventing seat belts, airbags, rear view cameras, and more. Now the world needs to do the same for nuclear energy. And I hope that many of you will be at the forefront of those efforts. There are many promising ideas for next generation nuclear power. One I know especially well and feel optimistic about is being pursued by a company called TerraPower, which I helped start 14 years ago. TerraPower's approach is cheaper, safer, and easier to build than today's generation of plants and it produces very little radioactive waste. Through a partnership with the US Department of Energy, the company's on track to build its first advanced nuclear plant, and it's planning to build many more around the world. But that's just one example. I wish TerraPower had even more competition. The world needs a generation of bright young people working on many ideas to make nuclear power plants safer and more economical. You can be the developers, designers, and lab directors who make the most of nuclear energy's potential. People sometimes ask me what field I would go into if I was starting my career today. Nuclear science is high on that list. It's hard to imagine a field where you could work on more important problems and have a bigger impact for people around the world for generations to come. Each of you has just taken a big step towards a lifetime of work that will be rewarding to you and to the world. I hope you continue down this path. We need you. Congratulations and good luck to all of you.